From archaeological discoveries found from digging in the earth, all the way to space discoveries made off of our planet. I am your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and today we are diving into the top 10 scientific discoveries in China that have left people baffled. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have the earthquake detector. In 132 AD, a man named Zhang Hen was able to create the first earthquake detector called the seismoscope. Far ahead of its time, this creation was incredibly accurate and is actually comparable in efficiency to those that we use now. Apparently, in 138, this tool detected an earthquake that was a ways away, and at the time nobody believed it and dismissed the warning. A few days later, a messenger arrived and asked for help, which confirmed that this thing really did accurately detect an earthquake and where it was coming from. Researchers still aren't sure exactly how it works, which is so crazy, but I guess some things are just meant to be a mystery. In our number 9 spot today, we have the Gangkar Puensum. This mountain is the largest mountain that has been unclimbed by humans and stands at a height of 7,570 meters or 24,836 feet. Studies and measurements of this mountain started 100 years ago in 1922, but it wasn't until much more recently that we began to acquire actually accurate details about it. The name of the mountain means White Peak of the Three Spiritual Brothers, which becomes an important part of why this mountain remains unclimbed. In 1983, the mountain became open for mountaineering, but between 1985 and 1986, there were four separate expeditions who tried to summit it and failed. Part of the reason why these expeditions failed were because there were disputes on the location and there was just inaccurate information, so the first group who tried to summit it couldn't even find the mountain at all. In 1994, the climbing of mountains in Bhutan higher than 6,000 meters became prohibited due to spiritual beliefs, and in 2003, mountaineering became prohibited entirely. This is why the mountain remained remains unsummited, and while I'm sure it would be an amazing expedition for climbers, who knows what is going on up there in terms of ecology due to it being left alone. In our number 8 spot today, we have the ancient seabed. A seabed that was once located at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean was found buried hundreds of miles beneath China. This slab of rock once found its home at the top of the lithosphere, which is the outermost layer of the Earth. How did it get hundreds of miles below China? Well, it got pushed down by a neighboring tectonic plate in what is called a subduction event. This discovery was so notable because scientists had never detected a subduction event so deep within the surface of the planet. When they found this rock slab, it was still continuing its descent towards the mantle of the Earth. I wonder if one day it will come back to the surface again. In our number 7 spot today, we have a gibbon skull. Gibbons are a type of ape that are often characterized by their swinging ability coupled with their loud, bright calls, and the 8th century Chinese poet Li Bei described their voices as they swung past the Yangtze River, but here's the thing. Today, there are no gibbons that live anywhere near the river. Also, the gibbons that exist now have different fur patterns from the ones that are often depicted in classical Chinese paintings. This has led experts to believe that there must have been another kind of gibbon that has now vanished, and physical evidence of this gibbon might have turned up in the most unexpected place. A tomb. This tomb, which was built for the grandmother of the first emperor of China nearly 2,300 years ago, contained a skull and a jawbone so distinct that scientists believed they must have belonged to a member of this now extinct gibbon genus. Many surviving gibbon species are now facing extinction, so it is likely that there were others in the past who unfortunately faced the same kind of fate. In our number six spot today, we have the green gel. This is a discovery that was made by the U-22 rover, which is currently exploring our wonderful moon. On lunar day 8 last year, which began on July 25th, the rover was doing its thing, but in its way through an area that was filled with a bunch of small impact craters. On July 28th, as the team here on Earth was preparing to power down the rover for its little midday nap, which is meant to protect the machine from high temperatures and radiation from the sun, one member of the team was checking over some images that were taken by the rover's main camera, and they spotted a small crater that seemed like it contained some sort of material that had a color and a sort of luster that was significantly different from the lunar area surrounding it. The team then changed the plans they had for the rover and decided that instead of going west, which was next on the schedule, they would instead take a little detour to check out this mystery material. The rover carefully made its way over to the crater and examined it with both its visible and near-infrared spectrometer, which is a thing that detects lights that are scattered or reflected off of a material which helps to reveal what they're made up of. For a while, 
no one knew exactly what the substance was, and it was only being described as being gel like and being a weird color, but after almost a year of more research, it was finally identified. It's rock. More specifically, rock that was melted together, most likely in the heat of impact from a meteorite. It's insane that something like that created a dark green glistening impact melt, but it's also very cool. I'm just glad that this is one mystery that we got to the bottom of. In our number 5 spot today we have the Gobi Desert Structure. This is one discovery that had conspiracy theorists minds absolutely swirling. About a decade ago someone was searching through some Google Maps images when they found a mysterious array of structures and patterns that appeared to be etched into the surface of the Gobi Desert, which is of course located in China. The structures are reminiscent of geoliths, but they are seemingly much more modern and newly created. The speculation of what this structure could be or why it was created went wild with people saying that they were street maps of American cities or, or messages either to or from some sort of extraterrestrials. The list of bizarre theories just goes on. While this is still sort of conspiracy sounding, this is likely the most reasonable explanation explanation for what these structures are, and that is that these structures are used to help calibrate China's spy and radar satellites. To be fair, this does make a lot of sense, and I don't have any other ideas on what it could be for. So. In our number 4 spot today we have the droughts. Ancient drawings and writings were found covering the walls of the Dayu Cave which is located in central China and a lot of them detail different droughts and such that were experienced during the time of their writing. According to these drawings people would come to the cave for either water or to pray for rain in times of drought. The writings reveal some of the horrors that the people of the time experienced while going through these periods of drought including severe starvation, social instability and conflict between government and citizens. While these cave writings show us a difficult time in history, researchers say that the stalagmites that were also found in the cave might show a grim prediction for the future. Since these are formed by dripping water and they form sort of rings, like how trees do, and these rings can give us insights into different things. Based on the patterns of these rings, scientists were able to corroborate the things that the cave writings were saying, but they were also able to make a grim prediction for the future, which is that unfortunately the region may again see one of these catastrophic droughts this time in the late 2030s. In our number 3 spot today we have the ruins. Taking over our number 3 spot today we have the most recent discovery on this list. While archaeologists were digging at one of the most important archaeological sites in China just earlier this year, they found a bronze altar as well as a dragon with a pig's nose, among many other things in a couple of the sacrificial pits that are seen at this site. In fact they said the findings were made in sacrificial pits 7 and 8, to which I have to ask, how many are there? There. Another highlight of the new finds was a bronze box with a tortoise shaped lid. Inside, this box contained jade artifacts and even traces of silk fabric were found around it. These finds are so astonishing because every little piece gives us so much insight into the buried secrets of the ancient Chinese civilization. In our number 2 spot today we have an ancient mystery. While excavating a tomb in China, the team discovered the skeleton of a young man that was riddled with wounds giving clues as to how he died. The man is estimated to have been about 20 five years old at the time of his death and it is thought that he was harmed and then thrown into the Tomb Raider shaft while still alive which is absolutely gruesome. It is believed that this crime took place between 640 and 680 AD. It appears as though he wasn't a thief because the shaft had begun to be refilled with soil by the time of his death, so we really aren't sure why this young man met this cruel fate. As a true crime enthusiast myself, this is absolutely fascinating and I wish we could find some answers to bring this guy's story full circle. But sometimes these things are just destined to stay a secret. In our number one spot today we have the palace. Archaeologists and researchers were certainly baffled a few years ago when they were digging beneath the foundation of the Li Fang Pagoda which sits on Li Fang Mountain. Well, digging isn't exactly the right word. To be honest, there was a huge stone or boulder that weighed over 1,500 pounds that was lifted away which then revealed a stone tablet. Once this tablet was lifted, it revealed a huge underground palace. Inside this palace, researchers found many hidden treasures that included a Buddhist statue, bronze mirrors, coins, and there was also a rusty iron case that was found during the initial discovery, which researchers believe held many relics. The pagoda that sat on top of this hidden palace was first completed in 976 AD, so it is thought that this area remained untouched from at least then until its modern discovery. Alright guys, that has been our list for today, thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time. Bye.
Who knows what is going up? Who knows what is going up 